Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I wanted to, uh, actually, I was just wanted to go through my email, make sure there were no urgent prayer requests. I was going to shut her down. And I found this, and it just piqued my interest enough. I thought, I got to take a quick peek at this, and I want to share it. But first, I want to tell you that when I was on with the team, with Grafted in Team Jesus, and we were we sang a lot of praise and worship songs tonight, and then we all prayed in the Spirit at the same time. You know, we, we muted, we had our mics muted and just our faces, our pictures showing instead of hiding our faces and so we could see each other singing and praising the Lord you know but we got a gal in Australia so she has a delay so it was messing her up so we muted all the mics and just sang to ourselves and it was still wonderful and I want you to know that I, I got three words from the Lord and he repeated it three times he said I am coming I am coming I am coming and I was reluctant to share it because I hadn't heard in so long from the Lord and Kathy was saying is anybody getting anything and I said well I was reluctant to share it, but I heard in my mind, uh, I am coming, I am, am coming, I am coming. And then we, she, we was like, praise the Lord and everything, because we know it's this month. And anyway, uh, we prayed some more a little bit, and then Kathy got a word for me, and she said, when you hear his voice, how did she word it? He said it's something about boldness. When I hear him speaking in my mind, I have to just speak it out and not doubt that it's him. So I thought that was really cool. Anyway, I, I want to share this, but I, I'm reluctant to say much because it might get pulled. So I'm going to use some code, and then you can get the link in the description box and go to it if you want to read it. All right, this is a situation update on December 5th. It's about Operation Warp Speed. You know, they want to get that vaccine out right away, you know, so we, we all can keep our jobs and everything, you know. It's a CCP-engineered um, plan to cause um, some problems with the military. But I thought, well, what, why would they want to do that? You know, that doesn't make sense. Okay. Today's situation, this is in Natural News. And let's see, I believe Mike Adams wrote this one. Let me see. Yeah, by Mike Adams, December 5th. Saturday, December 5th, he wrote it. Today's situation update for December 5th lays out stunning details on a grand wartime plan involving Operation Warp Speed. This um, V program to mass um uh, you know get everybody vaccinated so we can stop this covid thing right 
uh, especially the U.S. military personnel, is actually phase two of CCP engineered. Uh, oh, I can't say that. It's a plan on America that began with the release of the SARS-CoV-2 um, C virus and now proceeds to be the mass injections of U.S. troops, you know, so that they will be kept healthy while they're doing the job they have to do. Largely untested and experimental. Well, I don't know. That's debatable. V, that already shows a 100% rate of being safe. And uh, it was proven in high-dose study subjects. Okay, that's all I have to say about that. So I am going to just leave the link in the description box and you all can read it for yourself. Okay, so I'm going to end it there and say have a good night. I have more to bring, but it's getting late and I'm really tired because I haven't been getting a nap again. <laughs> Things going on. It's okay, though, because it had to do with a sick neighbor and that's okay always okay all right so bye for now you all i'll talk to you later please y'all be prepared be prepared repent of your sins forgive everybody we don't have much time we have less than 20 days i have i know i've said it before i've had the feeling before i've given stuff away you know Seven years now, or has it been eight? I'm losing track. Seven years? Maybe eight. I'm not sure. You know, a bunch of people bring get out of prophecy, and you believe them, and you think, okay, it's really going to happen this time. Time comes, and it goes. But because of the plan... To do what they want to do, it seems very highly likely. And the messages are just so intense, you know, with the Lord wanting people to repent. You know, he's said it in other messages. I got messages a few years back, you know, repentance is key, he said. He wants us to acknowledge, I've slipped up, I've done something wrong, Lord, please forgive me, and not take his gift of grace for granted. That's what it's all about. He's our God, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, they're three in one. Some call it the Trinity. You know, I I think of that as kind of a Catholic word, but that's because that's where I learned it. But others call it the Trinity, and it is. It's three in one. I can't explain it, but we'll learn all the stuff we don't understand when we get to heaven. Just make sure you get there, okay? Don't worry about those kind of things that you don't understand. Just know that you got to accept Jesus as your personal Savior. You've got to love Him. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. And love your neighbor as yourself. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. And remember... Whatsoever you do to someone else is like what you've done for the Lord. Whether it's helping uh, 
homeless person, giving them $5 if that's what you got, going to get them something to eat. If they're holding a sign up, we'll work for food. Well, go buy them some food if you're able. And just whatever, whatever you can do to show somebody love. Look for somebody to bless every day. I try to remember to do that. But they've got the second floor shut off now. You can't, they're not allowed to come out into their own lobby to, to interact in any way, shape, or form with any of us from independent living. Because we have more freedom. Like, uh, I don't know, they don't take us anywhere, but if we had a ride, we could go somewhere. So we have a higher chance of getting COVID. Anyway, uh, you know, it's just ruined everything, but that's part of the plan because we're at the end. Do you see how it's now, it's a global plan. And... How do I convince anybody that's not already there? It's heaven or hell. You choose. Do you want to go to heaven? Or do you want to go to hell? How many people grew up thinking, Oh, I want to go to hell when I die. Nobody. Nobody plans to go there. But you make plans to do your sins. Not realizing you're going to go to hell for it. But how many times have you heard that? Have you ever heard that? You're hearing it now. That's our two choices. And there's only one way to heaven. And that is through Jesus Christ. Who is the way. He's the only way to the Father in heaven. He said, I am the way the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. That is the truth and you can believe it. You can take it to the bank. And you can look that scripture up for yourself. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. All right, please choose Jesus today and make him your personal savior. He loves you. He died for you as much as he did for me and everybody else. He would have died for you if you were the only one. That's hard to believe. But a lot of what he said it's hard to believe if you don't have the Holy Spirit. You get the gift of the Holy Spirit when you accept Him. Call upon the name of the Lord. He who calls upon the name of the Lord will be saved. Call on Jesus. There's power in His name. There's power in His blood. And there's power in his word. So, you can't think of the Bible as a dusty old book that's just a bunch of fables. Yes, some of it's metaphorical. Some of it's in parables. But a lot of it is literal. You need the Holy Spirit to help you discern which is which. If you've tried to read it before and thought, this is just nuts, it's because you didn't have the Holy Spirit. You can't have the Holy Spirit until you accept Jesus into your heart. You just believe that he is the Son of God. He came to earth as a human baby, but he's all God, all man. Born of a virgin who conceived by the Holy Spirit. Talk about a miracle. 
but he only has 24 chromosomes. Did you know that? We have uh, 46. 23 from our father, 23 from our mother. We have 46 chromosomes. And the blood they found on the Ark of the Covenant that dripped down when he was crucified, supposedly an Israeli scientist, tested that blood for somebody, the archaeologist, and said, where'd you get this? What is this sample? He didn't tell them what he was looking at. He just said, would you examine this blood for me and tell me what you see? He said, there's only 24 chromosomes. I have to look that up so I can prove it. But it's a, he wasn't. I'm sure a lot of you have seen that video. But anyway, I'd like to, I'm going to find that and put a link in the description box. I got to find it. Anyway, I'm going to end it there. And I pray it, you know, it's weird. The way my YouTube channel was set up was that if you were a new visitor and you weren't signed in, and you went to my channel, you saw my video on salvation, how to be saved. And if you were already signed in and had a channel, and you went to my homepage, you saw my message on the two raptures. And they took that down. They're not wanting that out. I'm surprised it got left up this long. I'm sure it's in my list. Uh... But the point is, why did they take it down and change things around? Now all you see is how to be saved. Sounds like gee, the devil would rather you see how to be saved than, ha than about the two raptures. So you won't have that hope if you left behind. And a lot of people will be. Anyway, I'm going to go find that video so I can put it in the description box. I will let you go, and I will talk to you later. God bless each and every one of you. I do want to plead the blood of Jesus over this video and over each and every one of us, our devices, and our Internet connections. And with that, I'll say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.